Hi, I'm, I'm Amy Paller, and I'm a professor and chair of dermatology and professor of pediatrics at Northwestern University's Feinberg School of Medicine in Chicago. When I was growing up in pediatric dermatology, my favorite book was Sidney Hurwitz's Clinical Pediatric Dermatology. Uh, Dr. Hurwitz was one of the founders of the Society for Pediatric Dermatology in the mid-1970s and certainly became a mentor to me. It was my pleasure and my thrill to be asked to take over that leadership on his part and write an edition of Hurwitz's Clinical Pediatric Dermatology. And I'm so excited that we've just completed our next edition of Clinical Pediatric Dermatology. We're really proud of this volume of clinical pediatric dermatology because it's so comprehensive. It really offers to the pediatrician and the dermatologist, as well as the family practitioner, a very comprehensive view of pediatric dermatology that includes practical guidelines on what to be looking for in terms of diagnosis and certainly what to be doing with respect to management. There's been a tremendous amount of progress in pediatric dermatology just over the last five years, and we've incorporated all of this into this particular edition. Some of the hot topics, for example, are new management for infantile hemangiomas with propranolol, a serendipitous discovery just a few years ago that revolutionized our care of that very common vascular tumor of babies, eczema, one of the most common disorders of infants and also of older children and even adults is a disorder that we've come a long way in our treatment, still largely using corticosteroids, but now we're incorporating for so many kids with especially moderate to severe disease, dilute bleach baths as part of our standard care. And it has not only dramatically decreased the incidence of infections, but it has also stabilized for so many of them their skin disease. And then there's genetics. During the last decade, there's been such an explosion of information about what underlies the many genetic skin disorders that manifest in the skin of children. So we now understand the vast majority of these genetic disorders in children, and we're starting to be able to take that information and turn it into new therapeutic approaches. All of this is covered in clinical pediatric dermatology. Hurwitz's Clinical Pediatric Dermatology has a long legacy of publishing with the Elsevier company, and it's been our pleasure to continue in that legacy. Even though it's a few years between editions of clinical pediatric dermatology, it's important to recognize that there is new information coming out all the time. And that's why we do updates on a regular basis for any purchaser of this book, so that they can go online and find out what's new linked to particular chapters.